bucket lists. Everybody talks about them, and everybody's got one. But have you ever wondered who writes such a bucket list? It's the soul. The thing with hunger that calls out for more. More novelty. More experiences. More of what nourishes. Sometimes the soul puts the list in front of us. But it's always writing the list inside us. Pulling us forward. Out into the world. To seek new curves and the things that lie behind them. To feel more of what makes us come alive. Go forth towards whatever is calling your soul's name. Put the list in your pocket and your seat belt on. The new Taikan Cross Turismo. Soul electrified. As precise and sharp as a Swiss army knife. That's the new Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. Still camouflaged. What you see here is our test vehicle from the film. Clearly coming fresh from the test drive straight onto the stage. The DNA of the Cross Turismo comes from the Porsche Taycan. Uncompromising dynamics, a highly emotive driving experience, powered by an innovative electric drive with 800 volt architecture. The performance figures speak for themselves. Up to 560 kilowatts and 1050 newton meters of torque. Zero to 100 in just 2.9 seconds. Top speed up to 250 kilometers per hour. A real top class athlete, an Iron Man. Sporty, strong and reliable in all weather conditions, on all roads, for all purposes. It will be in showrooms across Europe this summer. Four models will be available from the start. The Cross Turismo 4 and the 4S, the Cross Turismo Turbo and our flagship, the Turbo S. All four models come with the high capacity performance battery plus with 93 kilowatt hours as standard. Its range, according to WLTP, is up to 456 kilometers, making it the perfect companion for day-to-day -day use. And thanks to a charging capacity of up to 270 kilowatts, 100 kilometers of range can be added in just five minutes. An excellent figure. 
A high-tech off-road chassis with all-wheel drive and adaptive air suspension is also standard on all four models. It rides 20 millimeters higher than the Sport Saloon. The optional off-road design package increases ground clearance even further by up to 30 millimeters. This really helps the Cross Turismo when it's time to leave the asphalt. And we also optimized our suspension system so the Cross Turismo comes with a specific driving mode. This makes sure it does well on gravel roads in terms of stability, performance and dynamics. In terms of recuperation, the Taycan has been benchmarked right from the start. Now our engineers have gone one step further. The Taycan Cross Turismo Turbo S can recuperate up to 290 kilowatts. This means that we have once more raised the bar. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cross Turismo is the most versatile and practical Taycan we have built to date. It reflects the distinctive pioneering spirit that has always set the Porsche brand apart. And that is something we are truly proud of. Axel, it's a great pleasure to have you here on your home turf. If we have seen in the film, you have been part of our test drive in Norway. So what is your first impression of the Taycan Cross Turismo? I think it's unbelievable. The Cross Turismo takes off like a rocket. Its agility, its sport dynamics, driving it really was a lot of fun right from the start. Precision steering, even at minus 35 degrees on snow and ice, dynamic, spontaneous power delivery, really makes this a true Porsche. And at no time during the test did I ever feel like the vehicle was getting anywhere close to its limits. Very, very impressive indeed. Up to now you were only able to see the car in camouflage. And now here in real life, what's your impression? I like it a lot. I think it's great how elegant and sporty the Cross Turismo looks without the camouflage. The designers have done a perfect job. The clear, timeless lines and this typical Porsche fly line that's sloping down towards the rear of the car. The attentional of mission of trendy design gimmicks. I mean, personally, I like that very, very much. And the inside, the increased headroom and the panoramic glass roof towards the rear makes for an extremely spacious feeling. Having done the test drive, can you imagine yourself driving the Cross Turismo as your day-to-day -day car? Would you say that it does everything you want a car to do nowadays? It definitely does on both accounts. The Taycan Cross Turismo impressed me in every way. Its versatility is phenomenal. Whether on the motorway or on the winding country roads, you can drive it like a true sports car. And it's home off the beaten track as well. And thanks to luggage space, I can fit all my ski equipment. And as you can see, a couple of e-bikes on the back, an all electric driveline with no CO2 emissions, that really makes this the perfect fit for me. Axel, thank you for helping us on the test drive and enjoy the Taycan Cross Turismo. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The Taycan Cross Turismo is designed for people like Axel Lundswindau, people who live life to the full, who do a lot of sports or enjoy being outdoors with their family, people who value comfort as much as dynamic agility, who like to go off the beaten track, and people who want sustainable mobility. Sustainability represents an important reason for purchase these days. One that is just as important as brand, product or design. That's what our customers see as added value. Sustainability is therefore an important pillar in our Porsche strategy. And with the Taycan Cross Turismo, we are taking another step towards our sustainability goals. Driving with zero local emissions in an all-electric sports car. Zero emission production at our Taycan factory. And not only there. The past six years, we have reduced CO2 emissions at all Porsche production facilities by an impressive 75% per car. And because we look at the entire value chain, we also set our clear sustainability guidelines for our suppliers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Taycan Cross Turismo stands for mobility that is both sporty and sustainable, and in the widest possible range of settings. We are firmly convinced the highly dynamic and flexible Cross Turismo will add another chapter to the Taycan's success story so far. Thank you.